pocket. When you drop a piece of crystal on the kitchen floor, it shatters. You feel an immediate pang of loss that something valuable has been destroyed. You also walk into that kitchen barefoot at your peril. Because no matter how tr hard you try to pick up the pieces, there will still be some there to stab you in the foot and draw blood. When you shatter the image of God, which is another human being, it is infinitely more tragic and more wounding. It's called trauma. When you subject people to danger and fear, and you do your best to render them helpless, and you separate them from your lo their loved ones, you shatter them. The people who are moving north, the families that are moving north now, are striving to maintain their humanity by leaving cultures that have been shattered in many cases, partly by our interventions as a nation, for which we refuse to take any responsibility whatsoever. That's right. Yep. They are coming here to save their humanity. And what we do is insist on separating them so we can shatter them again. What we fail to realize, though, is that it is impossible for a nation to destroy somebody else's humanity without destroying its own humanity. That's right. Yes. Whatever decency we claim to be fighting for will be destroyed because we are fighting the way we are. And this needs to be brought home to those who would try to tell you that they are fighting for you, for our values, for our freedom, and what they are doing, in fact, by their dehumanizing of other human beings is dehumanizing all of us together. We live in a region that is filled with trauma. And what we see is that hurt people hurt people. What we see is that when people are vulnerable to being hurt again, they will be hurt worse by less. You're right. We are now striving, a small group of us, to create a trauma outreach. But I get tired of cleaning up messes that should not have happened in the first place. Why should we spend thousands of hours and thousands of dollars trying to put people back together again when they should not have been broken in the first place? And that is what we are doing at the airport. That is what we are doing at the border. That is what we are doing in Washington. And I hate the sanctimony with which this is done. I seem to recall someone else who said at another point, I hate the sound of solemn assemblies. But let righteousness flow down like waters, uh, uh, justice like an ever-rolling yes. stream. Yes. And we, let us be tributaries of that stream. Yes. 